Hi everyone, it's Michael Delzato with Stall Talk. Uh, back presenting this time, we gave G the boot after last performance here with Braden Chen, uh, big food guy on the team. Anytime you need recommendations, uh, he's the guy to go to. His nickname is the the Hookup Man. Actually, he's got hookups all over the city, trying to work on his game worldwide. Um, Chen, you know, a big food guy. Um, what's your favorite type of food? Uh, if you had one choice. Well, how long's the segment? I can go on forever. <laughs> um, one choice. I like ribs. I like mom's home cooked ribs. That's I mean, don't get those often. That's kind of a summer thing, but um, you know the options are endless in Philadelphia. Would well, you say those are up there with mine, or who, is it a one A one B type thing? It is a one A. Yeah, I forgot about. Well, actually, it's been a while though. You don't really have me over anymore for ribs, so um, kind of forget what they taste like. So maybe uh, we'll have to work on that this year. We'll get you over soon, or I might have to, or if you're gonna throw me under the bus like that. Um, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Obviously, I know dessert's number one for you, but if you had uh, a, a pick of those three, which one would you go with? Uh, uh, dinner. Dinner on the road with the guys, you know, and I like when they go there and it's just food everywhere, you know, uh, lots of appies on the table, uh, you know, and with the big Desi platter, uh, maybe sometimes compliments of the chef. Nothing better when it's a free, <laughs> free Desi, too. So, um, you know, I think... You know, breakfast, you know, you, you always got to plan ahead in the, in the day what you're going to eat next, uh, you know, breakfast, and then uh, you worry about uh, lunch here. Actually, I've been working on the with the chef here uh, at, at the Skate Zone, uh, preparing meals for the guys. I've got to keep the guys happy, and I feel like uh, I'm in charge of uh, helping the chef. Yeah, your, your work ethic when it comes to the food is actually quite impressive. Uh, can't, can't fault you on that one. Um, this Desi platter, platter you speak of, obviously the guys know what you're talking about. I've um, never seen a guy get more excited for compliments from the chef of the, the Desi platter. Can you explain to the fans what is a Desi platter? Well, when uh, you know, usually when you're so full at, at the end of your meal and uh, you can't fit dessert in and you feel guilty about it, you just get a platter. And that, that way no one knows how much actually dessert you eat. So usually if there's about six guys, there might be about five Desis on the table. And you know, some guys end up only having a bite here, a bite there. And I usually end up eating two or three desserts on my own. So um, you know, that's kind of how the Desi Platter works. And there's a few guys that are a fan of the Desi Platter. Mark Streit, huge fan of the Desi Platter too. So it's actually... Uh, Sh Schultz as well? Schultz, he's always, uh, he's always looking for dessert no matter what. So uh, when you roll with those guys sometimes for dinner, um, you know... Especially Seamer, he uh, or Mark Strike, he uh, he's a big fan of chocolate coming from Swiss, and uh, he's a big fan of the Desi platter as well. I've, I've been at a couple of dinners with the Desi platter. It seems to be a little bit of a sword fight with their forks. They're trying to get in there. You're you're in there quite quickly though. Yeah, actually, we had to trade one of the Shens too, just because uh, guys weren't happy. They weren't getting enough Desi, so they had, to, they had to ship them out. The boys weren't getting their corner away with Desi eh? to get rid of them. Yeah. All right, that's uh, Michael Dalzato and uh, Braden Shen talking about the Desi platter and our, our love for food. Thanks for joining in.